Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the next installment of my uh, flip through of my yearly traveler's notebooks the next uh, four months. If you haven't seen the first installment, which was uh, January through April, I will leave a link up here for you. But this is May through August. Um, I'm a little bit later this time because I did have a few pages, especially in June and July, that I hadn't quite got to, so I did a tiny bit of catch-up, uh, and now I'm on to the last third of the year. Can you even believe it? <laughs> I'm just going to dive right into these. Uh, this is my May notebook. These are all notebooks that I have made myself. They are in uh, pretty much rainbow order <laughs> through... Um, through the year, through 12 months, so uh, they look really cute on my shelf there. Some of them I fill in the front, sort of spread, some of them I don't. This one I haven't. This is May, uh, right back at the end of autumn here in New Zealand, so this was a bunch of Citrus Twist printables um, with a few little exclusives. I think it was the Crave kit. I loved this page. I loved this kit, actually. I've should dig back into it again because it was really pretty, pretty colours. Um, super cute um, kind of autumnal colours. Uh, this was a really easy page, full page photo and a little journaling card with a few embellishments. So it did not take me hardly any time at all. Uh, this was a challenge page uh, with my patrons. I think it was a stamping challenge. Uh, it may also have been a sketch challenge, but um, my friend Alice got me this really cute kind of splatter stamp and I wanted to do a kind of ombre look with that. I can't remember the name of the Pink Fresh collection, um, but this was just a page about Lil not feeling her best. Um, kind of out of my comfort zone colours, but I really do like how it turned out. Uh, this was a page that I did during a little crafty hangout, uh, and so I took the photo and finished the page off later. I did a whole bunch of stamping while we were on the call together. Um, so this was a really simple page to do because it was really just stamps and washi tape and a photo, but I had fun kind of layering a bunch of citrus twist stamps uh, with some then new to me oxide inks. So I hadn't really used oxide inks before. I took the opportunity to kind of play and ask questions with all my crafty friends uh, while we were on the call. Lots of printables being used this year. This is from Nellie and Clem. This was another fun little page. I love all these bright pattern backgrounds. I just took a screenshot actually of the video um, that I was working on at the time, uh, but I just kind of love scrapping myself um, in here as well. And this crafty kit was definitely one of my favorites. We got a couple of pages in here with some Rosie Studios, um, mostly because I really loved the coffee um, sort of icons. Again, this is just, I think it's a bunch of collections. This were little bits and pieces that Alice had sent me, um, and I'm pretty sure I did this during another crafty hangout. Same with this one. I was really just using up... Um, papers and whatnot, just keeping things really simple. This one, I've got um, like six by six paper pads, so working out how I can like cover a traveler's notebook size spread with six by six paper pads and cutting them into stripes. So each stripe is no more than three inches tall, which means you can cover the entire page. You just need a three sheets of six by six paper to do that. Uh, this was a mood board challenge with my patrons to celebrate uh, my birthday. Got myself a really awesome birthday cake for 41 uh, and did some watercolor scripting and then a whole bunch of stuff. This was some leftover fabric um, that I had had that suited my mood board. I'd made myself a uh, traveler's notebook cover. This one here, in fact. <laughs> 
Um, and I really loved that kind of leopard print on there. So I popped that on underneath, just kind of glued it down. Um, there's also, it's really hard to see on camera. I don't know if I can get it to... There, there's like a brick kind of embossed pattern in the background as well. So that was, it's a really textural page. It just doesn't come off too well on camera. <laughs> And the last page in this notebook, all about coffee, of course it is. Uh, I did this during a live stream with my patrons using some fun, fun coffee, um, happy mail that I had been sent, uh, documenting a coffee that I had gone and got that very morning. So that was all of May's pages. And now June, so I can tell when I don't have... Um, I'm not date stamping a lot of these, but I am trying to put at least the month that the notebook is in here. Um, in June, I ended up doing a few extra pages, so I have stamped onto the front cover. This is obviously quite a darker paper, so I did end up heat embossing this with some white embossing powder, just so it would stand out enough for me to see. This was a different kind of full page photo for me. I'm normally doing vertical photos, but this one is a horizontal one. It was this beautiful landscape. We went on a Sunday drive using, again, a bunch of printables and exclusives from Citrus Twist, trying to kind of break out of my color scheme. I have that huge chunk of blue up there, so really contrasting that with some yellow and green down the bottom. Another fun page, this was uh, a challenge that I did on Patreon, I ended up redoing the page, and if you know me, you know I don't redo things a lot, but um, I had picked a background paper that I just really didn't love. Uh, again, I was trying to avoid the pink thing, but then I figured, why am I trying to avoid pink? I love pink, let's just do it. So I pulled everything off the background, put it on this beautiful pink, um, and I really, really love how this turned out. This was another page for Nellie and Clem, a self-care Sunday. In fact, the actual self-care Sunday was inspired by the kit. Um, I thought it sounded like a great idea. There was this little checklist of, um, of things to do. No, it's not going to focus. There we go. So I checked them off as I did it with some little um, enamel heart stickers and then created a envelope to pop that into just so I could be reminded of the things that I did. Oops, stick that right back in there so it doesn't fall out. This was a sketch. I took the uh, Studio Calico Summer of Sketches class for the last well, during this period, I guess the last three months. So this was the first page that I had done using one of the sketches and I grabbed some um, Rosie Studios. I can't remember the name of this one either. Sorry, there are so many Rosie Studios collections. This one felt a little bit autumnal to me. It had the mushrooms and the leaves. We were heading into winter and so it was the perfect collection to kind of go with a sketch. This mixed media page was quite fun, a little bit uh, beyond me. I don't do mixed media a lot, especially in a notebook. So I did prep the pages with some clear gesso beforehand, uh, stamped with some oxide inks, and then went to town with a little bit of water. So this was a fun one. These uh, florals are all from Citrus Twist, uh, and this was a sketch layout with my patrons. Another Nellie and Clem layout. This was part of their crafty kit. Um, so the little crafty dog. I had to change the coloring on him to make it a little bit more Lil like um, because she's definitely my favorite craft buddy in here. Another crafty spread about crafty making. So a little bit of an inception here. Uh, this was kind of a real a real challenge to me to use some of these greens but I had the sweet story collection out on my desk and I've just been kind of going back over favorite collections and this is definitely one of them I printed out some um, 
digital papers and decided to go with this really dark stripe of green. Um, there is a repeat stamped background in the background using some Kelly stamps um, and a really simple page to do in the end. Uh, you might have seen this one here, there was a process video for this. Again, this was one of my catch-up pages using um, the Studio Calico Sketch class. Um, a really, really fun purple page. I love it. Using um, some Nelly and Clean printables, some Citrus Twists, just a whole bunch of stuff from my um, stash. And then the second page to go along with that, this was another... Uh, sketch and it had um, the same kind of purpley tones but this time I went with All Heart from Crepe Paper and created this fun kind of embellishment cluster through the middle. And that is a June. So next up is July. No extra pages in here. Again I was trying to do a bit of catch up. Uh, this was a really quick kind of page that I did for a challenge in the uh, Scrap Your Stash Facebook group using hexagons. This is a bunch of Rosie Studio stuff and my little old grumpy puss. Another page using Rosie Studios. I created this little tuck spot down the bottom here to tuck in my... Um, not just my journaling, but a couple of extra little bits and pieces to kind of make it look like the pocket was super full. This was a Nelly and Clem printable. Again, I used the, I think it's Monaco Magic Kit um, to create this kind of background paper. And I printed it on my laser printer rather than my inkjet printer so that it would be watertight so that I could do a bunch of kind of um, I don't know what you call it, kind of packaging technique, watercoloring on the back with some of my oxide inks just to tie in some of the blues from my photos. This was our, um, we had a day without power, um, probably one of the coldest days of winter. Uh, so the blue was a real necessity, but I kind of punched it up a little bit with some of these wee peeps of yellow. Now this was another one of my catch-up pages because the process video was on my channel here not that long ago using a bunch of stuff from a Citrus Twist and the Retro Mini Kit and this kind of waterfall coffee stamped background. I still really love it. I'm totally into purple at the moment so this kit is one of my new favourites. This was another page uh, with a sketch from Studio Calico. Really simple, but getting a whole bunch of journaling on there, which, you know, is not, not my usual style, but I decided to do a bit of a list about right now, or what was right now back then. Um, I got three little photos, so they don't, all of my little journaling points don't actually relate to the photos, but I had this series of photos that I wanted to use. Um, just kind of every day with Lil and Shane and so things that were going on right now. This was another uh, sketch with the Studio Calico. I really enjoyed that class. I enjoyed having that kind of reference of sketches to go back to, to pick a few different things to kind of expand my repertoire a little bit. So I ended up with another horizontal photo here, which I have just cropped out of a regular... Um, portrait photo because I really wanted to focus on Lil rather than the rest of the background. It gave me plenty of room to add my stamps, um, my little puffy stickers and my journaling. Finally got to meet my friend Alice in person. So of course we had to take a selfie. It was bright, it was colorful. Um, and so I went back to Sweet Story to fill that all in. This was another um, another sketch from Studio Calico. I put a 4 by 6 photo in here, which I really love. I don't often do that because it kind of annoys me having that little border on either side, but actually I really love how this turned out, so it's probably something I want to do a little bit more often. And that is August, no, July all done. This is August here, which I have just finished. August, in August I used a uh, kit a lot in this notebook. I put the kit together with my patrons based on the mood board that I post every month. So this was 
August mood board um, and the first thing I did when I put the kind of kit together was look at the mood board and think of a bunch of different techniques that I wanted to try. So one of them was this tone on tone stamping and it's going to be harder to show you up here. Um, but I over stamped it with some embossing powder to get that kind of glossy look on there. It was a little bit darker than I had intended but I loved it. It was a fun technique to try. Uh, this was another one which was paper piecing all of these circles together. Uh, added a little bit more journaling than usual too but this is basically, again it's super hard to show you but it's basically a one layer uh, layout so these circles aren't all like stuck on top of each other they are die cut into the background paper so it is completely smooth to the touch that was fun I love this kind of more graphic look uh, this was another challenge with my patrons we we worked in this travels notebook a lot in August this was um, a sketch challenge which definitely required a little bit more kind of um, scaling down to fit into the notebook so I simplified the sketch a little bit also got to pull out these fun stamps from Studio Calico I've had these ones for a really long time but the stamp challenge was stamping with florals so I decided to do something a little bit different and use these floral alphas so fun, have not used those in years. I had to pull them out of my kind of backup stamp stash. Uh, and so that was fun to get them in there. So nice to see the arrival of spring too. I added this sequin pocket into here. The sequins were part of my uh, kit for the month. So I really wanted to get a sequin page in here. Super easy to do that. Just using a uh, life crafted page protector. I did stitch the page protectors just so that those sequins don't all just flop down to the bottom. It's especially important when you're putting a sequin page into a notebook like this um, because otherwise you're going to be super bulky down the bottom especially if you've got them sitting upright on a shelf like I do. So this is a really easy technique. Let me know if you want to see how to do that. Another really basic page kind of harking back to a style of old repeat stamping really all that's on this page is stamping this was a really old um, ticket stamp set from Studio Calico a photo stamped title and some journaling and that was really it I just love how bold this page is and I'm really enjoying this like red and pink color scheme as well so that was something a little bit different you know if I'm using pink it's usually with teal but with the red was really fun I was packing up my kit and just wanted to use this digital paper that I had printed out. Um, it's a crepe paper one. I really love it. Might be one of my all-time favorites. I love that blue floral. Um, and it's, you know, it's always a fun, it's always a kind of fun thing for me to be documenting coffee. So um, this was coffee and crafting. Couldn't get any better than that. And then I used some Citrus Twist printables uh, to document my um, joining the Citrus Twist design team again. Uh, this was a really simple page but really fun to do. I added a few tiny little stitching details because I um, this is kind of at the back of this notebook so it was getting a bit harder to kind of work on here so I worked on these digital papers separately which meant I could add the stitching and not worry about it coming through to the other side so I stamped my title and then added the, the little stitching details and just to bring in some of this texture onto the side I added a few little cross stitches with that same pink thread. And my last page, which was, this is the actual background paper of the notebook. So I really only added the paper onto this side. I really love this pattern. I decided I would try a bit of a green theme for this one. So I pulled out some uh, pink paisley, is it Monaco and Eight? Eight and Monaco? Third and Monaco? It's a Monaco one. I can't remember the name of the actual collection. I haven't pulled it out for a really long time, but I picked out all the kind of greeny bits to go with our sushi feast. So that's it. That was my next four yearly notebooks. 
four more to go until this project is done. I'm still really loving it. June and July was a little bit harder to get through, so I did have a bit of catching up to do. But this is such an achievable project. I don't think I'm really going to have any issues. I am mildly worried about December because um, I will be doing a December daily project as well. But I do want to get my notebooks finished. I don't want to have 11 for the year. I really want to have 12. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of prep for that, I think. But apart from that, I am just loving this project. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate you spending the time with me. Let me know if you've got any questions about anything you've seen. Otherwise, I will see you again really soon. Bye.